coach, I was a leader, always has been a leader, not a follower. Ran three or four companies for me for 25 years we worked together. And then, yeah, in 2017, she was diagnosed. Never heard of early onset dementia prior to Michelle being diagnosed. There's actually younger ones than Michelle that have got it. So it's quite common and it's huge. Dementia is commonly considered to be a disease of older people and characterised by memory loss, so people forgetting names of things or where they've put things. But um, younger people can be affected by certain kinds of dementia, such as behavioural variant frontotemporal dementia, which is what we're studying. So in this form of dementia, it's commonly characterised by changes in personality and changes in behaviour. BVFTD is the second most common form of young onset dementia and occurs in about 15 to 30,000 Australians at any one time. The most common symptoms uh, experienced by these patients are changes in their behaviour and their personality, so patients can end up repeating themselves and repeating the same actions, so sort of um, winding thread or tapping on tables, lots and lots and lots of walking is quite common, um, and then inappropriate kind of uh, thoughts and actions. So laughing inappropriately in public situations, being sexually explicit, um, making strange and rash financial decisions. So we often hear about people losing their life savings, losing their super because of rash financial decisions that were made without their spouse or their family's knowledge. So it can be very, very, very uh, destructive for a person and for their family balance. Oh, I thought the binge was just, you know, you lose your memory sort of over time. But it wasn't that at all. It's actually a, a life sentence. I was very lucky to have the NDIS jump in and take over and I've got all the carers now. She's got carers six days a week. We're going to go out for a drive after this. Yeah. 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 Out for a nice drive. It can get misdiagnosed as depression, it could get misdiagnosed as it's just a midlife crisis and just, you know, it's just life getting to you based on the symptoms alone. So that right now there really isn't a brain scan or a uh, blood test that can easily tell you that you have this disease. Hi Lucy. Hi Jack. Thanks. Are you able to help me yep. get this tablet? So our drug is called sodium selenate and um, we're trialling that as a therapy for BVFTD. One of the underlying causes that we do understand in BVFTD is an accumulation of the protein called tau. If the drug works in the way that we think it does, then the idea would be that the drug would clear the excess of tau that's in the patient's brains and that should stop the disease from further progressing in these patients. Um, and Theoretically, if we get patients early on enough in the course of the disease, there is potential to actually reverse some of their impacts as well. Michelle started the, the, the program 12 months ago and she has the pills morning, lunch and evening. We've all found, the carers and myself, and found that it's actually held it. It's not going to cure it, but we find that there's a lot of it's pulled things right back. There was a day I was outside doing something in the garden and I turned in here, she's putting the washing off the line. Well, she hadn't done that for like two, three years. It's very early days. Um, we published a study earlier this year that uh, in a small number of patients and we found that in a majority of the patients, so not all, but a majority, uh, we did see a reduction in the rates of decline in the patients who were treated with the drug. So this was a very small study and an open label study. Um, so we have to be cautious in the conclusions that we draw, but it does look um, somewhat promising to start with. The trial, unfortunately, is going to finish next month. And I've already asked a question, will it continue? And they said, no, just keep it going, for goodness sake. You know, it's just imperative. It's, I can see what it's done for her in the last 12 months um, and what it could do in the future. Unfortunately, we cannot continue to supply the medication to Michelle beyond the end of the trial. This is a, a problem with funding. We are funded by the Australian government and we don't have sufficient funding to provide the drugs to patients outside of the trial. People just think dementia is you get it at old age. It's not about that at all. I think you'll find that there's a lot more 
under the old age that are getting it. And it's more predominant these days than what they think. And what it's causing it, they don't know. It is a problem that we um, don't appreciate that younger people can get dementia, and people are very surprised when it does occur. It is still a, uh, a major health concern.